Oh, hallelujah. My fruit punch came in. Uh, yeah, you may not be too happy though. Why? So these are from the car. These are not from being shipped. Okay, because, I'm all right with that. Well, we usually get these at Sam's Club. And Sam's Club right now has them on clearance. Which Wait, are they getting rid of it? I don't know. Why? But they were only $20 a box, so I bought every one that they had left. Heck yes, that's my favorite flavor. Then your new favorite flavor may have to be grape. No! Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews and we talk about various keto topics. And every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Welcome to our full day of eating vlog, take three. We've tried to do this three times this week and uh, this no. <laughs> The activity this week has been ahead of like our grasp that the day is like here, right? Well, we still have a super busy day. I don't know, it has been a ridiculously busy week. And today is no different. First of all, we need a new refrigerator. Like the refrigerator, like it's it's on its last legs. Well, and this is the Memorial Day sale time. Mm -hmm. And you won't get another sale until Christmas. And I honestly don't even think the holiday sale is as good as a Memorial Day sale. They're not. As a matter of fact, especially like high ticket items like TVs and stuff like that, a lot of people don't realize. It's the worst time for Black Friday, worst time to buy like a television because what they're doing is, is they're making actually a crappier making version. a version just for Black Friday. Like TVs, they'll make a version that has um, a little bit lower resolution or less inputs or not as good audio and then they can sell it really cheap. But I have historically found that the best time of the year to buy appliances is Memorial Day. But the problem this year is it's really hard to find them. It is. They don't stock anything anywhere. But we've got to look hard because it has historically been the case that when we're like, you know, it's on its last leg, but it still has a leg to stand on. We'll just wait until Christmas. It conks out in that in-between time. Yeah. And then you have to pay full price yeah. for the refrigerator. And our, it, it gets everything cold, but like the ice maker, and we go through a lot of ice. Uh, the ice maker makes these loud knocking noises. You've probably heard it in videos. Every video. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to get a new refrigerator. We're going to move this one to outside. Get rid of the one that's outside, which is completely ancient. inefficient and ancient. It's like 25 or 30 years old. And then we're going to put a new one in here. And I don't know. I think that also I may even run an extra water line because again we go through so much ice we're in south florida that uh if we can have both refrigerators making ice that would be really good so i gotta do that um okay so i may not do a bronson workout today i'm I gonna may... tell renee on you well i've got some farm labor to do today does this involve the bricks outside yeah pavers so we had that concrete pad poured for Eleanor. Which I love. It's awesome. But he also, it, it's created some work for us. So there was a brick walkway down the side of the house. And he said, do you want me to just stack the bricks? You want me to take them with you? I'm like, no, no, no. I want to save money. Stack the bricks up because like we'll, we may use them somewhere and it's going to cost me money for him to haul them. So when you say stack the bricks up and, and I say, yeah, I just want to save money. His stacking the bricks up was a pile. Was throw them into a pile. Yeah, it looks like they started to stack them, and then just got like, yeah, no. This is a lot. And so it's a giant pile. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stack them up against the fence. Then the chickens can't get under the hole. And then probably we'll probably eventually um, maybe put some sand and make like a walkway. We're being invaded by packages in the front too. I think it's time to like empty and put them away. And I'm in agreement. 
So some people asked us, maybe we can show the studio and stuff. But we're going to do a full day of eating today. <laughs> I need to go to Sam's Club or Costco to find some more meat because we're running out of meat. I can't find beef short ribs anywhere. I know. But, anywhere. And then I'm going to be working on kids' ministry curriculum, writing activities and stuff. Okay. And so, yeah. Okay, it's a busy day. Now, we do have a sponsor. Oh, and I'm also working on a recipe. So, it may be in this video. I don't know. It, it's still in the experimental stages. And it's using today's sponsor. Please don't let it be beef liver. I hope it's not a beef liver sponsor. They do have beef liver pills. <laughs> okay, but we won't use this in the recipe. So, so. Says me. So uh, today's sponsor is Equip Nutrition. Equip is huge supporters of Two Crazy Keto. Thanks, so guys. We greatly appreciate you guys for supporting the sponsors who support Two Crazy Ketos. Now, if you don't know what Equip is, is they make some great nutrition products. Uh, the three products that we really use on a regular basis from them is their beef liver pills because some people eat liver. I don't want to eat the liver. Um, their protein powder. I like their protein powder because the protein powder uses beef protein instead of milk protein isolate. And sometimes you want to switch yeah. it up. We love keto chow, but keto chow is made with milk protein. And some people can't handle milk protein. So this is a great option because it's made with beef protein. Ingredients in this are... Grass-fed beef protein, organic coconut cream powder, organic natural flavor, and stevia. And that's it. And then we also love their Smart Sleep, which really helps us get some of our magnesium calm. in and also gives us a good night's sleep. So, our recipe is, we made that video on how to make fluffy pancakes. Which Link we right love. up here. Right? A lot of people love. You're addicted to them. I'm addicted. That's all you want to eat. Yep. So, when you use Equip, it gives you a completely different experience. Like, yes. I will tell you, if, if you want to make that recipe and don't want to use Keto Chow, it will not be the same. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you that right now. People keep messaging us, can I use this instead? If my, Try it's kind of like... maybe at your house? Yeah. Don't, I don't know what to tell you if it doesn't work. Um, if I know of a substitute, I will tell you. Other than that, the recipe is what it is. Yeah, because sometimes we'll get messages and it's like, can I add turkey to this pancake recipe and and make have deviled it the same? and make it deviled ham? Right. I, I don't know. Right. Like we didn't do it that way. Right. It's it's what what is the dis what should the disclaimer be like? This is the recipe. Make modifications at your own risk. The, these are the <laughs> ingredients. I I cannot guarantee anything other than what you see demonstrated. So. With that being said, that little disclaimer, when you use a quip in that recipe, it's a completely different experience. It is no longer a fluffy pancake. Right. It is much thinner. If you like really thinned out pancakes, it works. Yeah. So we are going to experiment on recreating a childhood delight from me. Your your childhood. Yes. And that is crepes. Crepes. Well, not just crepes, balinces. Because I grew up in a Catholic household and in our house we generally did not eat meat on Fridays, especially during Lent, where there was never meat on Friday during Lent. And so the go to was eggs, pizza, and fish and blinza. Isn't fish meat? That's like a constant well, is it debate. An egg meat, but well, I mean, it, it has allowed. a face. It was if, allowed. I feel like if it has a mom, it's meat. I don't know. What is your opinion of that? Like, do you think that fish is meat, or because I mean, I've even heard some vegetarians that eat fish, and I'm like, that's not a vegetable, right? Right. Well, I see vegetarians will eat cheese and eggs too and it's like that's coming from an animal yeah so, i don't know I don't what's know. your thoughts there's on fish there's different levels is that a meat there's but then again they'll probably all look at us and like you're crazy hey we see carnivores you can't have cheese what why why and cheese is from an animal who's making these rules this yeah, is who like makes the rules you know what it is it's like uno right <laughs> everybody has some house rules when they play uno yeah and depending on who you play with 
Like, Caleb, it used to drive Caleb crazy. He would always take a a, uh, a pack of Uno cards to Don't school. Don't ever play Uno with Caleb. He with always school. wins. I know. He's, he's like, grand champion of Uno. But he would go to school, and he he would come home some days and be like, I was so frustrated at lunch. We were playing Uno, and this kid had some house rules that were just ridiculous. But that's it, right? Like, people bring their house rules. Well, you know what my house rule is? Whatever helps you win. Yeah. That's the house rule. Yeah. And that it's the same when it comes no, seriously, when it comes to your diet, whatever works. Yeah. Which is whatever What are you gonna however, stick to? How are you gonna win? What what is winning? Having results. So whatever it takes to win, those are the house rules. Yeah. So if cheese on a carnivore diet helps you win, that's good. Have cheese. If stevia helps you win. Have stevia. Let's get back to the recipe. Yes. Because we just went on a 10 minute tangent. Yes. Okay, sorry about that. That's why these vlogs were 45 minutes long. Right. Okay, so you get a completely different experience. I grew up with blintzes. I love blintzes. What is a blintze? A blintze is a crepe that is stuffed with sweetened cottage cheese that is thickened then with an egg. Why do you have an A on the end of that? Blintze. You I don't say know. it like that. That's how you pronounce it, but yeah, it's, it's actually blints it. Well, it's an E at the end. Okay. That's how you actually spell it. How cute. Right? Yeah. So we're going to chuck that because I bought a crate maker. <laughs> he is like the captain of all small appliances. Like if there is a gadget, he's got it. Are you cleaning so that we can actually like show people what our front room looks like? I can't even get in the front door. Well, we get a lot of packages. I <laughs> mean... That is garbage. You can throw that out. There's like a lot of glare from the front door. Sorry. That's okay. Remember? That's good. So yeah, that is garbage. Hey, that down there was like your Mother's Day present, which we're going to install in the camper because you want a central vacuum. Oh, you were talking about my vacuum cleaner. Yes. yes. That is muy importante. And then the other two things, those big long boxes, we can go put those on the side of the trailer because those are actually new stabilizer jacks for our series on upgrading Eleanor, where we're gonna make Eleanor the perfect RV. Instead of buying a new one, we're gonna turn it into the one we would buy. We're gonna renovate her. So this is where owning a truck comes in handy. I was able to find a refrigerator, and this is actually one that is supposed to be sold out everywhere. They were saying, you're not gonna be able to get it till November. And uh, the guy was looking on the computer, and he says it has, they have one, He's like, but that should be the floor model, but we don't have this one on the floor. So let me go check in the back and happen to be in the back. And it was $500 cheaper than what the website said. Plus it was on sale for another $500. So awesome. We're going to load it up then I get it home. And we got to deal with moving fridges around at the house. This is very different than in the past when I would buy an appliance. Now we have a nice machine that just loads it in instead of a bunch of us trying to haul it up inside. You know, your son locked you out, right? Did the, he really? The door was locked. Oh gosh. Are you ready to do this? Yeah, I guess. This could be interesting because I don't know if it's going to fit through our door without moving the RV to get it down the side of the house. Oh, good. You know, getting a new refrigerator is supposed to be a joyous time. It's not until you get a refrigerator that you realize, like, you're not all that clean. As yeah. soon as you move all of the stuff underneath the, the refrigerator, you're like, I'm disgusting. We are a filthy family. At least we get to get rid of all the stuff that we haven't been using. Like... There were two-year-old built bars in the freezer. I'm not, I'm not surprised. Um, we're gonna have to take the doors off to get it inside. I'm also not surprised at that. Do you wanna come see it before we take the doors off? No, I wanna see it in place. So we got the new refrigerator in. We had to take the doors off, uh, but we did get it in and uh, pretty happy with it. We ended up having to cut the cabinet just uh, about a half an inch, just because uh didn't take into account the wheels, but nice size refrigerator. Got lots of room for us. We have a new batch of yogurt going right there. And then uh, this front door comes open like this. The one we were looking at had a glass door here, but this one was $500 cheaper. And I'll say $500, no problem. So now we have uh, a nice big freezer down here, ice maker in there as well. So now I'm gonna go run a water line for the other refrigerator outside. So I got the water line done and uh, I'm a little behind. Let me show you what I've done. So unfortunately we did have to run the soldering iron on the paint, but we're gonna be repainting the house anyway. But this is what we did, we put a T here. This goes to the new refrigerator or the old refrigerator that's on the patio. Here's our hose, which I need to go buy a new hose because this hose is garbage. 
And then uh, this runs down. I just have to strap it up, but I have to go get some pipe straps. And then there's a chicken in here. Came through there, so I'm gonna get a little bit of patch, some stucco patch. And here's our old refrigerator. And uh, yeah, yeah, Grayson. Grayson's like, uh, there's a chicken here. What are you doing, Bessie? You don't belong here. Grayson's like, um, can we do something about this, please? Look at him, there he comes. What is that, Grayson? Grayson. So yeah, uh, overall, not bad. Took a little bit longer. Ran into a couple little problems, you know, because of the way the house works and you have to drain all the water out to sweat the pipe. I'm excited though, because we're gonna have four ice makers now. We're gonna have the two on the inside and then we have the two out here in the old refrigerator. I actually hear the water running already. Now, the one on the inside, one of the ice makers makes those like giant craft balls, those whiskey balls. So it only gives you six per 24 hours. So that's kind of like a worthless ice maker, but I'm excited about having it anyway because it won't water stuff down. Uh, but I now need to work on lunch and then I'm determined to get those bricks done. If we can still see them over there, look at that pile over there. I gotta get those bricks done. That's, that's my workout for the day. So I'm gonna go make something to eat and then uh, we're gonna get those bricks done. So I couldn't find any beef short ribs. So I got the next best thing, Buffalo Wild Wings. We have a bunch of reward points and they don't let you use them on Tuesdays. So I decided I'm just gonna stop at Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm gonna warm some of these up and then we're gonna go surprise Rachel. So one of the downsides to moving the refrigerators was we'd have the sliding glass door open a lot and uh, we got a bunch of flies in the house. So Anthony has decided that for some reason he thinks that sesame seeds work better in the salt gun for killing flies than salt does. So he took all the salt out and he loaded it with sesame seeds. I don't know why he's done this, but take a look at what happens when you hit a fly with sesame seeds out of a salt gun. There is now blood splatter all over our cabinets from where he kills flies. Lunchtime. Well, there was no beef ribs, so. This is a nice, like, consolation prize. Did you see the pictures I sent you? No, what happened? You need to take a look at the pictures that I texted you. Look on your computer. Go ahead and take a close look at that. Is something bro broken? Which one are you looking at? Oh my gosh, is that like a dead... Is that dead guts? That's guts on the counter, on the cabinet. But look at the other one. Can you pull up the other one? That one there. This one here, can you make it bigger? Let me see. Mm. Oh, it's opening. Ew. That's the microwave. Did you clean it? Oh no. It's 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 a warning to the other flies. I'm gonna leave it up there forever. So you're gonna eat. Mm -hmm. I still haven't moved the bricks. Um, so I'm gonna go work up an appetite. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna sorry. Go. So don't touch the wings that are in the air fryer. Those are mine. I'm gonna go start moving bricks. And your refrigerator is in, by the way. <gasps> I wanna go see that. Okay, here we go. We're going to stack all the bricks up along the fence and kind of get them out of the way. I'm also gonna take all that wire down, so this should be interesting. So I got all that done, everything is stacked up. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is get some sand and we're going to dump a bunch of sand over there. So those are all the broken bricks. And what I'm gonna do is get some sand and kind of like level this out because you can see that they made the pavement a lot higher than the backyard. So I'm kind of using all those broken bricks as like a fill so we don't have to buy as much uh, sand. And we're gonna kind of bring a bunch of sand in here, raise it up, and then we're gonna use these bricks to make like a pathway from the RV over here to the shed. So just like a little walkway kind of area and that'll help everything out. But overall, stacking these bricks wasn't so bad 
so long as nobody hits the fence and they topple over and I have to redo it. Slowly, we're gonna get this backyard nice and cleaned up, or at least as much as it can be, considering we have chickens. Could you get any dirtier? So, I've worked really hard today. Yeah, you have. And uh, I think I've earned something very special. I, okay. I really think you need to treat me to something super special because I work so hard, and now it's not what you're thinking. I think we should just be, make this a two-day vlog because, like, I'm tired. Well, okay, we can do that. So you can you lay down. Well, first shower. Then no, eat, I'm gonna lay down first. No, eat your wings and relax, and we will take this into day two. So we still have to do the pancakes. So we'll do that in day two. I don't know what we're gonna eat tomorrow since we didn't do the ribs and stuff, and we already had wings today. So we looks can like crepes tomorrow. Yeah, maybe crepes. Do you want to see the backyard? Yes. Um, I don't know if you've noticed anything though. Grayson, because you've turned his cage this way, is really enjoying the magnets that are on the mic. <laughs> Look on the floor. Oh, wow. <laughs> he's redecorating a little bit. This yeah. This is his pad. So he's pulling all the magnets off. Now, I really don't want a ton of magnets on the new refrigerator. Maybe no. a couple. But yeah, so he, we're going to probably have to pull everything off of the side because he's like, uh, these don't belong over here. Like all those little round ones, he's pulling them off. Well, and we've never really talked about the fact that I leave messages to myself all over the house. There's scriptures, there's like affirmative things, there's things like Rachel is amazing, like just reminders because guess what? These are the areas, the refrigerator is still the area I probably visit the most in the house. So it's a good idea to like have encouraging words for yourself on your refrigerator. Except for we have a brand new refrigerator. I will still come out here. Okay. I'm leaving them up. Okay, so here, take a look over here. How are they, what do the chickens think? So if you look here, I need to get some concrete oh. patch. So right down there, look, you have water for the refrigerator. So I'm going to get some stucco patch because we're going to repaint the house. <laughs> I have informed Anthony that you it? would like the house repainted. Oh, so it's it's my fault. Yeah. So they can be mad at me. He said figures. <laughs> so we did that. And now the whole idea with this, though, is we could eventually put a sink out here. I could make like a little bar area I and just tap that. right into that. The sun is glaring on the camera. I would just like to go down as saying that this honeydew list is being generated by my honey himself. No. I did not say that you have to put water in a place. I did not say that we have to do like stacking the bricks today. Well, you did say we have to stack the bricks, just not today. That looks absolutely amazing. Until somebody hits the fence and they all fall over. I don't think that's going to happen. Nobody's, like, the street isn't right next to our fence. So, I took all the broken bricks and they're spread all across the ground, like, behind where the new concrete is. And then what we'll do is when we pull the RV out for Memorial Day weekend, we will go get a load of sand and then just dump an entire yard of sand back there. Yeah. Kind of level it out. But I'm using the old broken bricks as like filler so we don't need quite as much sand. I think it's important to note that if you would like to have backyard chickens, you cannot also have a lawn. It's backyard chickens or a lawn. Because over the course of a year, they've absolutely dug up every stitch of grass in our yard. People did warn us about that. They did. I did not believe it, but I am living proof that we had a once lush backyard of greenery, and now it is not happening. Um, but I will say that I feel like Caleb is in cahoots with these guys because he's, he's the enjoying one, the fact that he doesn't have to cut he the grass. Have, he's, he, his mowing duty is cut in half here at the house. Oh my gosh. Like, so we should probably come see Naomi because she's very insistent. She gets very upset if she's not gets hugs several times a day. She's all about the lovies and like cuddling. She likes to cuddle. If you want a bird that cuddles, get a chicken. Also, if you like a vocal animal, get a chicken. Because they say that like roosters are the only things that make noise, but these guys are very needy. It's like almost like a Siamese cat. They want to alert you to everything they're doing. 
It's a little late for dinner, but we just finished our live stream. It is. Ooh, this is nice. So that is that pizza crust that from that uh, one bakery up there in Apopka. I forgot the name of it. Yeah. Uh, was it Crave Bakery? I think so. So that's that pizza crust, half of that. And then we got some like taco kind of things. Those are the Egg Life wraps uh, with some 8515 ground beef, a little bit of sour cream, a little bit of salsa, a little bit of cheese. Everybody's always talking about them. They're very tasty. So this is new, but on my walk, I noticed there were some river otters going into the canal. How cool is that? Wow, okay, so this is a total first. And there they are. Look at those guys frolicking in somebody's backyard. How cool is that? Rise and shine and give God the glory, glory. You know, when I throw food on the floor for the dog, I get yelled at. You do. I get yelled at by yep. you. I get yelled at by Anthony. Caleb thinks it's Why is it's Anthony mean. yelling at you? Anthony says that the food's attracting flies. It's true. Yeah, but but there's a bowl of food right there. So if, if that's attracting flies, so is that. She's cleaning it up. Well, I have to give her a distraction for a moment because she wants to play with her squeak toy right now. Not later. Since Always. we turn the camera off, she'll she'll be done with that toy. But for right now, squeak toy. Friday morning. I'm going to work. I just got back from my walk and I saw river otters. What? What is happening right now? Where did these things come from? Three of them. I saw a person walking like, like we were walking toward each other. And then I decided to walk a different way. So I turned around and I start walking and I hear these footsteps right behind me. Like, cause I'm walking by a lake and I hear these footsteps and I thought, oh my gosh, did that person like run up on me? No, it was three otters, three otters. In Florida. Don't touch mommy's balls. Why do you have mommy's balls? Why? Those are my balls. Oh, you you better. You better leave my balls alone. That's what you I know. so bad. That's what I know. Okay. Uh, it's Friday. I got to go to work. We have like four houses to cut. Then we got to come home. We've got to tape stuff. Um, I still got to work on my crepe thing. And It's uh, going to be crepe. Yeah, I, I can't promise it's gonna work. I haven't even tried it. It's just it's a it's a thing that's up here. Uh, but I got to get it from up here into to the actually plate. working like. No, actually, you need to get it from here into here, through here into here. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm gonna go to work. I'm just drinking some water right now, and then I'm gonna have some electrolytes and blah blah blah. I'm having coffee because yeah. Did you see Kim Howerton's post? No. Because you know the big thing is like coffee can increase glucose. Well, I'm sorry, I'm drinking coffee. And so coffee. she put a post up. She was like, yep, I've read all the studies, still drinking my coffee. <laughs> I have to, I have to. I want, you want to keep him alive, right? That's what a lot of the comments are like, for the sake of my family, yeah. I must drink coffee. It's, it's a thing. So Rachel's helping with dinner. She I made am. salmon while I was working on the RV. Super easy. All you do is take it, right, I mean, it doesn't look great, but like you just take it right out of the freezer package, Right. put it in there. It's 375 degrees for 20 minutes. All I do is put a little bit of butter, a little pat of butter on top, and then like totally pound it with the Redmond's lemon pepper. And it is really good. Except for you took my spatula that I'm using to make crepes. Sorry. And got fish sauce all over it. Is it good? Mm, yeah. But you have to see for yourself. I don't like fish. <laughs> Try it. But I don't like fish. Try it anyway. Tastes like fish. No, it's actually really good. Good job, baby. Really good. So they're not the prettiest, but we're getting there. The crepe recipe is working well. The cottage cheese filling is working well. It's just a matter of making the crepes. Okay, so I think we have the batter right. Okay. I think we have the filling right. I just am not getting the actual making the crepe right. Like they keep falling apart. It's like not as pretty as you would like it. But you gotta do a taste test. All right, here we go. Be honest, is it too eggy? Mm. 
filling is dead on. Okay. And it's actually really good. Just doesn't look good. But I think that it may be still a little a tad too eggy for some people. Okay, so that's that's like round two. We'll disclose the recipe when we're completely done you with gotta it. Gotta get it right. Uh, I will say though. To do it, you have to use today's sponsor for the protein powder. It doesn't work with Keto Chow. No. You've got to use Equip Protein Powder. Oh, my gosh. And I've tried it with other protein powders, and they didn't work. There's something about the beef and the way everything works together. Uh, we're at a mozzarella cheese. So that is one of those Crave Bakery uh, pizza mm. crusts with cheddar cheese and pepperoni on it. Mm. Okay, so people keep asking us about our studio. So this is our studio. Before we end the vlog, we wanted to kind of show everybody what we have here it pretty much takes up our entire front room so you can see right there there's the door that's the entrance to the house these are all our little extra things my scooter that i'm still trying to sell and then we have everything over here so rachel can film me and uh show you everything that's going on don't we have an awesome entrance to our house it doesn't look like a home, but it's where our family congregates, right? Okay, so let's start from right to left. What is at your right elbow over here? Okay, so this is a complicated studio. We're gonna start off here. Here's my laptop. I'm in the process right now of looking for a second computer because the, that computer would handle graphics and everything like that. So this is kind of like the brain behind everything, but it's not. So I use a lot of different programs on here to like pull off a live stream and stuff. But down here, first we have this light. This is one of our old lights. Um, I'm in the process of replacing, we have two of these. We have one here and we have one on the other side and I'm replacing them with these new lights. These are really cool. They're from a company called Elgato, which is a gaming company. And uh, they're owned by Corsair, but I have like these buttons here that allow me to turn it off and on and I can like change the colors up there, just the different like types of white, not like reds and stuff like that. But I can dim them and everything from my computer. That's why I like them and they're small. They take up a lot less room. This is really the brains behind our entire live stream. So basically what this is, is this is a video switcher. This is called the ATEM Mini Extreme ISO. And it allows me to have, you can see this, eight different cameras. So of course we don't have eight different cameras. We have three right now and I'm looking for a fourth one to put on this side. Uh, but there's a camera up here in the front, that's our main camera. There's one over there that focuses on mostly Rachel. And then there's an overhead camera, which right now is a GoPro. It's not very good in low light, so I'm looking to replace that. Like I'm looking for like a $300 camera for there and like a $300 camera for there. Can't find one yet that has clean HDMI. Uh, but what this here does is it allows me to change the cameras, but more importantly, it allows me to control the focus and the color of our main camera. And then if you come back over here, Rachel, this part right over here, that's like the brains of the entire live stream because this is all hooked up to our computer, but it does work without the computer. So in the back here, there's actually a hard drive that you can take off and move to everywhere and that records everything. And then there's buttons here to record and stop recording. You can turn on green screen keys and other things like that. You can do transitions, but there's button right here. If I hit that on air button, we will immediately go online because this has the ability to live stream without a computer. So most of the time you have to hook up a computer this does it all. It controls all of your different video feeds. It controls your recording. You can control your cameras. If you have Blackmagic cameras, you can like trigger different types of functions. You can trigger like swipes and things like that. But it also has the ability to broadcast everything to any place you can think of, Facebook, Twitch, YouTube, and it does everything. And what we really like about it is when you hit record, it records every single camera and every single audio source. So if we forget to turn on a recorder somewhere, it's gonna handle it. We've got like a backup of a backup of a backup. That's why we like that. So this stream deck, this is basically hooked up to my computer and this and programs. And what this does is this allows me to trigger this thing and my computer without like fiddling around, like simple presses of the button. 
and everything can be like programmed. So I can press lights off and it'll turn my lights off. I can press lights on, it'll turn my lights on. If we're in a live stream, I can hit this button, it will hide the chat that we have like appearing. Um, I can trigger different cameras. So that's this is kind of like the brains behind the brains, if that makes sense. So over here, this is our audio recorder and this is like a podcast thing. So it allows you to have four different microphones as well as computers and a phones coming in. Right now we only have one microphone, but if we were to have a podcast, we could have multiple guests all on their own microphones. And then you can also have sound effects, which we don't really use, but this also has a backup recording. Because here's the thing, on more than one occasion, I forgot to hit record somewhere. And I wanted to kill you. I forgot to plug in a microphone. And I wanted to kill you. And I come to Rachel like an hour or two hours later and I'm like, oh, we have a problem. Uh, there's no audio or the video didn't work. So everything is about backups upon backups upon backups. Now the backup usually makes work for me because like I'll have a video with no audio and now I have to try to like listen to audio that's recorded separately and line it up based on what I think we're saying. So. And that's tough because you can be like Kung Fu movie where it's yes. like one, you know, you're saying something and then you're seeing the mouth move. It, it takes a lot of work. Okay, so getting back over here, this like television screen here, this kind of lets us know everything that's going on. It's connected to the video switcher that we have over on the side. And it allows me to see all of our different things. Now, like I said, right now, we're, we're actually using six cameras, but not using six cameras. And I'll show you what they are. So this one right here is our main program. That's whatever is either live streaming or being recorded. It tells me exactly what you're seeing, as well as do you have audio? So if you look right now, there's no audio because I added those little things over on the side to tell me if there's audio and there's nothing moving. That means that whatever you're listening to, there's no audio. I've done that so we don't have to keep going. Um, can you hear us? I still do it. So if I press one button. There you go. Now my microphone is on and I can see you guys are hearing us and we're not peeking. The bottom screen, that is my computer. So if we say to you like, hey, we want to show you something on the internet, all I have to do is press the web button on my little switcher and then that will show you one of the screens. So I have that one there. Um, I can have, this is our YouTube comment picker. Everything is cast as a video to our switcher. And then we also have like a website. So over on the side, it lets you know all of the different cameras. So you have over there every single feed of audio, even though we only use one. We have what the main camera sees. We have, are we recording? So if I hit the record button, you'll see it's okay. We're recording everything. We know that we're actually recording whatever we're doing. And that record button automatically turns on the main camera. Then over here, if I do this, when watch Rachel freak, I hit on it. Oh, we're live. Okay, it'll immediately put us on air, but it does have like a 12 second delay. So if I hit it off fast enough, we don't go online. I have actually gone online just cleaning this room. Like I've been like, <laughs> I was cleaning the room and then I get a phone call from my sister-in-law. That's like, do you realize that you're sweeping on air? So then down here on the bottom, we have where it says comments. I haven't changed the label, but that's like just a second web browser. Then we have the Rachel camera, Pro Presenter, which is another, again, screen, and then our overhead. So I can just sit here and hit buttons and change whatever is up live. I can also change my view to just see that and not see everything that's going on. What about the microphone that's over our head? What kind of microphones do we use? Okay, so these are Deity microphones. Um, I've tried the Rode microphones. They're not bad. Our wireless ones, which are in the other room, those are Rodes. But this DD is really good. It's powered by this thing. So, and then this is the GoPro strapped on. So, and it's a big long extension pole. And then obviously the television up there, that is our second TV. So we can see when we're live streaming, like that's where all of the chat and everything else appears. So everything is up here if I can hide stuff. So we have all of these different things and then like, there's our old live stream because I haven't cleared everything out yet. So, and then of course over here we have one more camera. So sorry I look so bad, but it is the end of the day. <laughs> but um, 
So yeah, like we try our best to give you our best. Yeah. And there's still, you know, things that go wrong. We still like go late on a live, you know, because we're having internet issues. There's some things that we just cannot there's control. There's no control over everything. But it's certainly not because we're not trying. Yeah, and everything is always being upgraded. So I'm constantly finding a new gadget, something that's gonna make it easier. A new program, like right now, I'm experimenting with a new program called H2R Graphics which is really cool because it's somebody who owns one of these video switchers and he's designed this whole thing to do chat overlay and everything and he releases it for free. I mean, and you can see there are hundreds and hundreds of hours of work into this thing that puts the crowd across the bottom or like allows you to have a ticker and it's all done through multiple video switchers and this guy is just saying, hey, here's a program, it's completely free. but. It's trying to learn how to use all this in the limited amount of time, and sometimes I have to do it when we're live. It's definitely a labor of love, yeah. but it's kind of like the way that we do kids ministry. You just know that for somebody, they're not gonna connect unless you have some maybe video elements, or if you know they get distracted, if the, if the lighting's not right, or if the voice is not correct, right. or you know like they will not connect. And and for us, it really feels like all of the effort we're doing is because we want to reach the most amount of people, right? And we don't want like our videoing to be an obstacle to them tuning in. Right. If they're like that looks too cringy, I'm not going to connect because if they don't connect that may mean that they don't stick with keto right. or they don't take that leap of faith. So, right. I mean, it's a huge financial, you know, investment mm -hmm. for our family, but all a of- A lot of, it, pretty much money from Patreon and all, it all gets poured back into this stuff. Yeah, but it's like, we think even as a family, the boys, we've all made sacrifices in order to have this channel, but we really truly believe that this can be a ministry to people and we want to to be a blessing so it's worth the investment you are worth the investment so yeah. i mean if if it means that you will stick to your your plans because you're like wow rachel and joe see the investment in my life like right. that's what i'm hoping that that people will hear now i forgot to mention because you brought up lights so people ask us how we do our lighting you can kind of get a glimpse of it in this shot so we have paper here. And there's yeah. actually a third roll that we don't hang anymore because it allows me to go higher. But there's two rolls. One is a green roll, which the lighting doesn't make it look green right now. And one is a gray roll. Right now the gray one is down. And then if I pan up, up in the ceiling, we have lights. So again, you can see what we've done to the house. I so mean, it's hilarious. We have two lights up there that we can change the colors through my phone or through the back of it. And then there's another one that you can't see down there on the ground. Yeah. And that's how we do the lighting. So when You're those lights together. hit the, the, the gray screen, uh, it kind of gives you this look of what you see back here. I'm actually thinking about moving everything to that other wall and literally taking down this wood, at least on the back wall, and painting it gray because that would allow us to have a wider shot because this paper's only nine feet long. Yeah. And so, we're we, limited. We're limited with how much we want to show more of the table or if we're doing a product demonstration, but because it's only nine feet long. That's it. I have to have the camera at a certain distance. Yeah. But if we do an entire wall, but it, it means giving up more of this room. <laughs> I don't know. I'm okay with it if it means we'll be able to do more stuff. And then we have the green roll so that for kids ministry, we do a lot of green screen work. And then, again, it's we do the best we can based on lighting. Green screen is all about lighting. Coastal and Kids, Dot Online, shameless plug <laughs> for kids' ministry. So we can just pull that down. We turn off the colored lights and turn on white lights. That lights up the green screen. Everything lights us up, and then we can do all that, which that's all done through computers. So, like, people think videos, like, oh, YouTube, easy. Turn on the camera. It's a lot of behind-the-scenes stuff, and it's a lot of video editing when you're done. Like, even this video. This video will take five or six hours to edit all of the different pieces together. I remember the first time that Joe was like, you know what, we're gonna give everybody five videos a week. And it's like, you don't- That was the stupidest decision I that ever That was made. a, like, don't- It's a lot of work. And we are definitely, we believe in integrity. So if you've promised that you're gonna do something, you just do it, whether you, like, whatever your emotion is about it doesn't matter, you gotta just do it because you said you would do it. 
But yeah, there's been it's a lot of times it's like, oh my gosh, I can't believe we should have sent like one a week, right? You know, and then we could have really, you know. But there's be too many certain. things we want to talk about to only have one video a week. Yeah, so. so we'll just keep grinding it out, and and hopefully we're we're a blessing to you. Yep. Well, this has been a little bit of a long vlog. It's kind of been all over, all the, over place. the place. Like you saw a little bit of food, you saw a little bit, but people have asked us over and over like, what does the studio look like? So now you know. So we are gonna go to bed because we have a long weekend. I still have, yes. to, I still have to edit kids ministry. We have to film keto on the couch. And we're going camping this weekend for Memorial Day and the family's coming to visit, right? So everybody's gonna come hang out at our campground because we're going camping around the corner. Local, camp local. <laughs> Well, you know, it's honestly, isn't that a, like a great idea? Like camp and then... We're camping five miles from our house. But whatever, like you're going to do paper plates, you're going to do disposable stuff, whatever mess that we generate, it stays at the campsite. It's not like I have to deep clean the entire house for us to get together. It's kind of like a fun excuse to get away. But at the same time, like because you're staying local, other people can come and hang out, which right. I, I'm really excited about. Well, that's going to be the end of this video. Now, if you like seeing videos like this, check out some of the other full day of eating videos that I'm going to link right down there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I'm going to put right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time, bye. bye.